Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in to another Hanging With Heavy video. Hey, if you remember our last video on welding symbols, we talked about the reference line, the arrow, and the weld symbol itself. Well today we're going to go into it a little bit deeper, so hang with heavy as I teach you more about how to read welding symbols. Now then, let's take a look at what we talked about the last in the last video on welding symbols. Number one, this is known as our reference line. This is known as our leader. This is known as the weld symbol itself. And the whole thing together is called a welding symbol. So this is the weld symbol. But when you put the weld symbol together with all these other components, it becomes a welding symbol. And you can tell that this welding symbol here is telling us that we need a fillet weld on the other side. And we know it's the other side because the weld symbol is on the upper part of the reference line. Now, let's take a look at another fillet weld. All right, now let's take a look at another fillet weld. This fillet weld is one quarter inch equal legs. It's a quarter inch fillet weld on the arrow side. And we, if we look in the tail here, we can see the number 7018. That tells us the electrode that they want us to use or the fillet, ma the fillet um, material. Now, let's take a look over here. Here is how you measure a fillet weld. These are known as legs. This is known as the face. So you want to have equal legs of one quarter inch for this particular weld symbol. Now then, I'm going to show you another welding symbol that has unequal fillet weld legs. Now, let us take a look at this welding symbol here. Once again, it's a fillet weld, but you'll notice that the legs are one quarter by three eighths. And the way we're going to measure that is that this particular leg is going to be one quarter inch, and this particular leg is going to be three eighths of an inch. You may find this when you have a dissimilar size of material. Now, let's take a look at this welding symbol here. You may encounter this if you're doing some form of fabrication project where you don't need to weld the entire length of it for distortion or just because it's, it's not required. And this is called intermittent welding. This is a one quarter inch fillet weld. The weld length is going to be one inch long and they're going to be on three inches of center. Now, if you can take a look over here, I've drawn a little illustration. This is the one inch of weld and this is the spacing between the welds. So you've got one inch of weld, three inches of spacing in between, one inch of weld, three inches of spacing in between. This is really easy to do. Once you lay out the first one, if you measure from the end of one to the end of the other, so I would come from here to here, measure out, come back, and that would give me my three inch spacing. Very easy to lay out if you do it that way. Notice also, that this, uh, that this tail has got the number 6010 in it, which tells me that this weld has to be made with the 6010 electrode. Okay, let's wrap up this series with the last welding symbol of the day, and that's going to be a plug weld. This is the plug weld symbol. This is different than the fillet weld, so keep this in mind. Do you notice that this plug weld symbol looks just like a hole or a plug that you would put into the material? Just like the fillet weld symbol looks exactly like the fillet weld that you would put onto a piece of material. Now, in this case here, this is going to be on the arrow side because the weld symbol is below the reference line. There is a figure of one quarter inch in here. That means that's the depth of fill. So they want this filled up one quarter inch. And if you take a look over here, I've kind of illustrated that by having a one inch plate with a hole in it. You'll notice I have some hidden lines here representing the hole. And over here I have one quarter inch. That one quarter inch tells me that I need to fill this hole up one quarter of, the, of an inch. Now this, so like if this is one footer, this is going to be one quarter of an inch and that leaves me three quarters of an inch there. Now this weld will also penetrate this bottom piece here. These two surfaces that come together are called a fane surface. Two, two surfaces that map, that meet up with each other called fane surfaces. So that's what's going to go on there. You'll notice also that this one here is supposed to be done with the flux core arc welding process. And I've added a little something to it. Watch this here. 
I'm going to add this to it, which is a flag. And that flag will tell you that this weld is to be made in the field. So it is a plug weld made in the field with flux core arc welding to a depth of one quarter inch. Well, there we go, welders. All around the world, you are hanging with Heve and learning about your welding symbols. Now, you're probably saying, hey, these welding symbols can get pretty intense, but they can. But if you take welding symbols, learning welding symbols, like, like eating an elephant, how would you eat an elephant? Well, you'd eat in one plate at a time, and that's what we're doing here. Well, I'm just giving you small tidbits of information, and hopefully, you know, you're building up on top of it. Matter of fact, all your friends are going to go, how do you know all that? Why, how do you, where'd you learn that at? And you're going to say, dude, I've been hanging with Hebei. Of course I know that. And you can too if you hang with Hebei. So reach on over there. Hit that like button. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how things are going. Hey, tell me about your welding project. And maybe this is helping you out in some way or form. So until the next time, YouTube, you know what I'm going to do. I'll catch you outside.